Tried and compromising, enterprising, anything but tranquilizing. Right on, on my on Walter. Oh. Maud, you've got to stop hitting oh, yourself. I can't, Vivian. The pain takes my mind off. Off what? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Why don't I just get the hell out of here, then? Vivian? You leave me alone at a time like this, and I'll rip your heart out. Well, then tell me what's the matter. Am I your best friend or not? Now, oh, what is Vivian, it? Vivian, Vivian. Vivian, how long have we known each other? 22 years. 22 Mom. years. We've been through an awful lot together. Oh, a lot. Six husbands, your two, my four. <laughs> right. For 22 years, Vivian, we've been... We've been everything to each other. I mean, there wasn't a confidence that we couldn't share. We've, we've been like sisters, Vivian. Like, like sisters, Maud. Then can I trust you to keep a secret? <laughs> what is it? Don't look at me, Viv. <laughs> Vivian, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Maud? Maud, please pull my leg. Vivian, at age 62, I'll be the mother of an Eagle Scout. I don't believe it. No, they made a mistake. Laboratories make mistakes. There's no mistake, Vivian. The rabbit died. <laughs> Laughing, no doubt. Maud, you're a great... Mother. With an eight-year-old grandson. <laughs> Vivian, do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? That means that I live in a house where an uncle is about to inherit his nephew's potty seat. <laughs> Well, a person looking at you would never know you had a facelift. Oh, honestly. Nobody, 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 nobody could ever tell. Not in a million years. Nobody in the world would ever know you'd had a facelift, Vivian. <laughs> Vivian! My God, you had a facelift. <laughs> constantly goes out with girls who look like Telly Savalas. You take that back, you fire hydrant! <laughs> what? You heard me? You are built like a high-rise fire hydrant! Is that so? Well, then you're built like the kind of animal that would use one! Pay no attention. Just consider the source. Oh, go swallow a Volkswagen. Your mouth's big enough for it. That does it. I will never, ever set foot in this house again. Oh, Vivian, I've been trying to prepare you. I've been trying to prepare you all afternoon for the fact that Peter is coming to see me, not you. Hey, wait a minute. Did you say... Did you say he left you the night the Yankees lost the World Series? In that, 1957? That is right. But that's the night Milwaukee won the World Series, and that's the night he came to me. That is a <laughs> lie! <laughs> the Yankees never played Milwaukee. Oh, who'd they play? The Republic of Panama. <laughs> How the hell do I know who they played? What am I, a football fan? <laughs> impossible that he went to you. <laughs> and furthermore, I refuse to share my champagne with a neighborhood drunk. <laughs> I'm sorry, but first I'm going to tell you something. I did not tell you before because I did not want to hurt you. Peter called me last night, Maud. Me, 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 me! Long distance. Person to person. Collect. <laughs> checking into the Ramada Inn tonight and would call me as soon as he got there. Me, not you. I don't believe that. That is a vicious, ridiculous lie. 
and I would laugh hysterically, hysterically. Except I can't get my cheeks to move. <laughs> Tell you this, Mrs. Pinky. I am now going. I am going straight to the Ramada Inn, where Peter awaits me. <laughs> <laughs> you will pass on that door. <laughs> you will pass on that door until you get tennis elbows. <laughs> and all the while, Peter will be here with me. He perceived you, that's <laughs> Cannot hold my liquor? I'd like to see you get it from me. Huh? <laughs> Goodbye. Peter, Peter, I am coming to you. Peter, I am coming to you. I am coming to you. <laughs> and let me tell you one thing. If you want pears, you go to a pear tree. Because if you go to an elm tree, then... All you're going to find there are other... Uh, I'll go to hell! <laughs> you see, Vivian, I've spoken to that man thousands of times. Maud, that was the mysterious stranger. Oh, nonsense, Vivian. And stop trying to make it sound as though everything that psychic predicted is coming true. Mother, this uh, man you're supposed to marry, is it somebody you know? How could it be? She's already married everybody. She knows. <laughs> And you already have a leg and a cast. Would you like to try for the entire body? <laughs> Just hit the spot. I'd like to hit a spot. Ah, I'd like to hit Walter's bald spot. <laughs> well, you know what bugs me? Mm. Well, we're here compensating for their absence by eating and eating. Pass me the Moogoo guy pan. <laughs> the minute Walter comes off that lake, I know he's going to run to the nearest telephone and call me. To say, Maude, I'm having the time of my life. Uh huh. Huh? There he is. There he is. Come here, oh, Ramaki. <laughs> Hello? Yes, Walter, I know you're having the time of your life. Go kiss a fish. <laughs> Vivian, open your eyes. Oh, no, I don't want to. I can't. I can't. No. You really should, Vivian. Well, I, I don't, Come I don't. on. Open your eyes. I'll try. <laughs> oh. Oh, Maud, look at Hattie. She's so peaceful and contented. She's even smiling. She should be. She's wearing your brooch. Oh, that's my brooch. What is Hattie Flanagan doing Vivian, with my did brooch? You lower your voice. What is Hattie Flanagan doing with my brooch? <laughs> don't know. Oh, good Lord, don't tell me I lent it to her. Oh, what was it? Some kind of going away present? <laughs> People are staring. I don't care. I want my brooch back and I want it back now. Lady. <laughs> is there some problem? Oh, no, no. It's not important. My friend is overcome. That's ah, I understand. Uh, it's difficult, Mrs. Hammond, but we must <coughs> learn to let go. Let go? That is not leaving this room. <laughs> well, my grandmother had mystical powers. She could read minds and foretell the future. But I think the most amazing thing she did was to get rid of headaches. See, if you had a headache, she'd put a glass of water on top of your head. And then she'd hold a lighted match just in front of your mouth. She'd have you breathe on it, but not enough to put it out. And then she'd put the match in the glass of water. <laughs> Throw the water out the window onto the sidewalk, and you would feel fine. But whoever stepped into the puddle would get your headache. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Viv, I don't know why, but lately birthday parties sort of depress me. Well, if I'd had as many birthdays as you, they'd depress me, too. <laughs> ah! Oh! Honey, did you uh, fill the punch bowl? Yeah, haven't you seen it? I thought they... <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. So did I. <laughs> Walter, Walter, Philip wants desperately to be accepted by his older classmates. I mean, is it his fault that he was skipped a grade because of his intelligence, his brilliance? I mean, is he supposed to be punished because he inherited a grandmother's mind? Isn't that punishment enough, Walter? 